Paul Gardner from the Mantis Group, International Marketing Director. Here we are at the HPA Gaucho the International Polo event. How did Mantis get involved in this specific event? Well, uh, you know, we've been on the polo circuit now for about two years with Gaucho and we support the O2. I think it's just so unique having indoor polo, which is quite unusual in this part of the world. And uh, it's completely out of season and it's close to the city, so we attract a lot of the city to the event this evening. So I think it's just a great, um, a great association in terms of what, what uh, our product offering is, being five-star, adventure, luxury boutique. So I think it's a very great uh, alignment and we're going to uh, you know, hopefully maintain the relationship with Gaucho for a long time. Um, how do you feel that Mantis gains through this association? You know, what do you specifically benefit from being the sponsor? Well, I think we, we as a group are small. We're a, a small fish in a very big ocean. And uh, we want to consumerize the Mantis brand. And I think you know, there's no better way to do it than partner with these type of events. I think we're hoping to get about five, between five and 7,000 people here this evening. And Mantis is going to be flashed everywhere. So I think uh, that would hopefully attract people to the website and ultimately, um, you know, uh, hopefully bookings will materialize from that. So it'll be a sponsorship relationship that will continue to grow in the future? Absolutely. We know the uh, chairman of the group very well. He's a personal friend of ours and there's no doubt about it. The, the, the relationship will grow from strength to strength. Sports is obviously top of the agenda for the UK this year with the Olympics around the corner. Um, what does Mantis plan to do um, specifically for this with its London properties um, and what do you have planned for the Olympics? Well, we, we're fortunate enough to have four hotels in the United Kingdom. Uh, one in sort of central London being Chelsea, the other is um, out in Wimbledon and we've already, it's already fully booked with a team from uh, the USA. We've got the tennis team staying out there. Um, we've got a hotel out in Cheltenham, a brand new hotel called Ellenborough Park and hopefully that will result in good occupancies from people exploring the bigger part of London, the greater part of the UK. And, um, and then we have an, another smaller hotel in London called the Lord Milner. So I think um, the occupancies are looking fantastic. We've, we've got a couple of months left, there'll probably be a last minute rush as there always is with these big events. And I think it'll hopefully uh, uh, be something that will put London on the map in even a, big, even a bigger way than the royal family did last year. So. And then Mantis is obviously a very international brand um, and you were just talking earlier that you landed this morning from Florida. What were you doing there and how big of an impact does Mantis have in the Americas? The Americas are uh, pretty important to Mantis. Uh, we have some strategic alliance partners there. Uh, one individual being Jack Hanna. He's a real environmentalist and he's visited a lot of our properties and endorses a, a lot of what we do and he's brought out a series of wildlife programs on some of our African products. And then our other partner, uh, strategic alliance partner is, is Jack Hanna, uh, sorry, Jack Nicholas. And Jack Nicholas, being the golfer that he is, has been talking to us about the possibility of almost uh, uh, joining him and uh, he, he will do a golf course out in the Bahamas and he's come to us um, to talk about doing the boutique hotel on the island with him. So um, we've, we've returned from a successful trip and we hope something will come of it. And then just lastly, back to tonight's event and to the polo. Argentina obviously a big players tonight. Um, Mantis also has properties there. Um, what are your thoughts on this and who do you think will win? Um, Argentina, we have a fantastic little boutique there called the Casa Sur Art Hotel and we've got properties in Chile, Explorer, uh, the Explorer group are part of us and we've just um, going to be opening up a hotel in 2013, early 2013 called Picay. Um, it's an eco-friendly lodge on one of the islands in the Galapagos. So we have a very close affinity with South America, it's emerging, it's a happening place, we're very excited about it and I have to support Argentina there for, for tonight's victory. Oh, well, uh, hopefully they will be winners like Mantis is in the World Travel Awards. Um, just what does that mean to you to win year after year such a prestigious award? Uh, it's a hell of a thing, you know, coming back to the whole consumerization of Mantis, it is vital. So um, it's, a, it's a very prestigious thing to belong to and uh, we're very proud of those awards each year and we hope that we're successful this year. Fantastic. We wish you all the best as well as your favourites, Argentina. Thank you for talking to Breaking Travel News. Thank you very much.